Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to see scheduler in web methods. Let's begin. Go to your integration server. Go to server. Scheduling. And here click on create a scheduled task. Now here give the description. Test scheduler. Now here we have to give the service fully qualified name. So let's create the service. Go to your designer. One, we'll create one test service. Let's say test scheduler. And here we'll simply put the debug log just to test our service. We'll save this and now we'll copy this service and we'll give it here. Now here we have to select a user. So we'll select administrator and here we'll select our server. If your scheduler runs in cluster environment, then you have to select your cluster environment, but it's not a cluster. So we'll select ours. Now here we'll keep it keep it same and here schedule type and detail is so run once let's say if you give date as today's date and time is let's say then it will run only once for this particular date and time and if you select this repeating, so here you have to give the date, start date, let's say start date is this and time is this 11, 11 p.m. And let's say end date is um, after two or three years, let's say on 23. And end time is end time is 11. Now here, now repeating. So this is a checkbox. So this is useful when let's say if you have a uh, let's say if you have one service which runs every one second, but sometimes what happen it might take longer than that to complete. So if you select this, then what what will happen? Server will wait until the current execution is complete. So it won't go for the next execution. And if you don't select this, then what will happen? server will start next execution even after the current execution is not completed so we'll select this for a safer site and interval is let's say we want to run our service in every two second or three second or five second or let's say in 24 hours so we have to give here time in a seconds only so let's say if you give three so the service will run this serv this service will run in every three seconds so the same way there is a complex repeating so complexity repeating is also same we have to give start date start time end date and time and then repeating and there is one more option is there run mask so this means here you can select let's say in every year in march april in March, April or May, only these three months you want to run this particular service. So you have to select this and you have to select the particular days. Let's say if you want to select all 31 days or all uh, all 31 days or only on 10th, then you have to select 10th, let's say, or you want to select weekly. So if you want to select every day, then you will select like this. And if you have to run this particular service on particular day let's say on tuesdays only so you have to select like this and you have to select the time from here so this is a complex this is complex repeating so we will see the repeating so let's say we want to run our service in every three seconds so let's say the time i'll give here 11 0 2 and I'll save this. We can see our scheduler here. Now let's wait for 2302. Go to the logs. 
and here we can see that test scheduler has run now from here you can suspend also if you want to suspend the task then you can directly click click here and you will get pop up like this and you can select ok so here the task is suspended now you can see there won't be any other logs that means the service that means the service is not executing so this way we can suspend it and if you want to enable it then we can click on the same suspended link and then we can click ok so here again it is active and this runs every three seconds so i hope you got the point how to schedule the task in web methods i hope you find the video helpful and if you like the video then please do like share and subscribe thank you